Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a video on the iRule control system. I've been using Harmony remotes for a very long time, but I've been yearning for that extra level of control for the gear. You know, I need, I need some real customization. Harmony doesn't really do that. It's more for maybe an intermediate, middle to intermediate user, but for advanced users who want to take full control of their systems, the Harmony can't get you to that extra step. So I was looking for something to use. Um, I came across iRule and now it is all I use. It is absolutely outstanding. There's a bit of a learning curve, so in this video I'm going to try to go over some setup tips to kind of make the learning process a little easier. Alright, so watch and enjoy. Now here's an example of the interface itself. Uh, on the tablet, um, I use an iPad mostly, but it works with uh, iOS and Android tablets, so I currently have a Samsung Galaxy Tab and also a Kindle Fire that I also use with, with the iRule app. This is sleep mode. This is when it goes into a very dim mode, like when you're watching a movie. That way it doesn't distract you or the viewers when you're watching the movie. And to wake it up, you just tap the screen and then it wakes up to its full brightness. This is, you, this is when you're going to use it. So um, here I have uh, five, well I really have six actions programmed. Um, first here I have movies. This is, this is, this is what I used to pull up, J-River. Um, here I have another, I have an actual movie icon, this is for the Blu-ray, if I want to watch a, say a 3D Blu-ray on the Oppo uh, BDP-105D. This is music, so if I just want to listen to music, which means essentially I turn my processor on, I don't turn my display on, and I just listen to music. This is the PlayStation 4, now because the PlayStation 4 doesn't accept IR or Bluetooth commands from a, from an actual remote, this just gets the right inputs on the Theta processor, you know, set, and then from there, I have to use the controller, so clearly, I don't use the PlayStation 4 much. This is the Xbox One, I click this, and it pulls it open, and then I can also navigate, I'm going to show you how I do that in a little bit. Uh, this is Sonos as well, I can use it to control Sonos, I know it can be difficult to see through YouTube, but this is a Sonos icon as well. So, so the way it works is, if I click on one button, say I want to watch a movie, I click on that, it takes me to the control page. It also sets everything up, so it, it turns my display on, it sets my processor, turns my processor on, it sets my processor to the right input, you know, all based on how I set it. Now there are two control interfaces for this iRule app, there is the IR, and then it's also RS-232. Uh, RS-232 is incredibly useful because you don't have to worry about line of sight. You just directly control your equipment. It controls to the back. It's just, also called a serial port. So, and so here I have, and these are more, these are more for backup because I actually use gesture controls by swiping on, swiping left and right on the screen and up and down, I'm able to control it. But I'm going to get into that in a second as well. So the pair I have a home button. This is kind of like a standard configuration that I've kind of created for myself. Um, others create their own standards, but you know this is a standard that I like. So I on every page I make sure I have a actually I have a home button. I have a mute button. Then I have the play, pause, stop button, fast forward, rewind, skip forward, skip backward. And then up here I always have a power button. And then down here I have this audio button switches. Um, my processor is a Theta Casablanca uh, 3HD, so I, it, it lets me switch on the fly between um, a digital signal and the actual HDMI signal. So um, if I'm watching J River, but I say I just want to, you know, say I'm watching a video, a home video, and I want to actually listen to something, then I just hit this button. It takes me to the the, um, the Sonos input, and I can automatically listen to the Sonos, you know, while I watch the home video. So that's just how I program it. Now we also have feedbacks. Feedbacks are a component only available through RS-232. However, it lets you do pretty neat things. Like I can monitor the, the volume control. So I, the way I control my volume is I use two fingers. And if I swipe up on the control pad, it turns the volume up five clicks. If I swipe right on the pad, then it turns it up 15 clicks. So it's a fast way to get to reference. So if I click, if I, so I'm going to swipe it up five now, and then see the volume goes up by five. I'm going to swipe it to the right, and you're going to see the volume jump up by 15. 
You see that blue line keeps going. It's hard to see the numbers, but yeah, it just went up 15 in addition to the 5. So the volume started at 20, now it's at 40, because I did 5 and then 15. Um, so that, that's just one example of, of a, a great way to use this. The key thing about gesture controls is so that you don't have to look at the tablet. Now, I use Harmony Remotes for years primarily because I did not want to look at a tablet when I wanted to do an action. The fact that iRule contains the gesture controls, which I'm getting ready to show you, makes everything so much easier. So keep watching. And here we are from the home screen. I want to select watch a movie. I select the movie icon. So it turns automatically saves to the page. It's turning the processor on, the amp on. Well, the amp is connected to the processor via a 12 volt trigger. And then soon, boom, the processor is on. You now see my main J River page. So, navigation, I have it, I set it for gesture controls. So, Swiping this way takes a screen this way. Swiping to the right takes a screen to the right. Say I want to watch um, a quick video. Tapping is always selection. I'm on superheroes. I tap the screen. It takes it to all my superhero movies. I want to scroll through. I just swipe, 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 and it takes you through all my superhero movies. You can tell I'm a big fan of superheroes because I have quite a few. They're like seven X-Men movies. My gosh. Anyway, so yes, and the way I have it programmed is a double tap a double tap will take you back to the previous screen. So I'm gonna double tap the screen now and it takes me back to the home screen. Now if I'm a couple layers in, say I'm say I go to audio, you know, and I wanna I click something to play, then I wanna go to the home screen immediately without without double tapping to go back. What I do is I tap the screen with two fingers once, like that and it takes you to the home screen. This is all programmable in iRule. So a double tap takes you to the home screen immediately. And th this, this is just the way I have it for JRU, but you can do it for any of your control apparatuses, any of them. All right, so um, as I mentioned earlier, for volume, I have my volume, I swipe up, and it turns the volume up by five clicks. And then if I swipe left with two fingers, then it will do the same thing with 15 clicks. I, swipe, I mean, swipe right, swipe right, and you see it go up. Now this volume bar that you're seeing on the screen right now, this is called, I'm sorry, it's called a feedback. It's a feedback only available via RS-232. So what it does is, it, uh, it's two-way. The My Theta processor actually sends data back over the RS-232 connection to the IRO app, letting it know what its volume status is. You know, and um, the, there, are, there are so many possibilities. Uh, I can't even go into all of them. There's some that you can't even see on the screen right now. For instance, I have the sample rate of whatever music that I'm playing. That's always on the screen, as well as movies as well. But the the possibilities are fairly endless. All right, so let me show you how you get here. All right, what we have here is the iRule Builder. This is actually a web-based builder so that any device with a browser and a mouse you can use. So you have a Linux PC, a Mac, a Windows PC, you can program iRule. All right, so there, there are two um, builder panels. The center is what your remote looks like. This is actually a page that I set up, but I haven't, I haven't um, programmed the buttons yet. I just placed them there in my standard configuration. I haven't programmed the buttons yet because I, I literally, I just got an, uh, I just have it. I got it on the Oppo VDP 105D, and I haven't yet inserted it into the system yet. So I'm going to do that today for you in iRule. So this is what the page is going to look like. To the left, you have your panels. This is where you select all your panels. You know, you have Blu-ray landscape and portrait pages. Everyone, get, every page is a landscape and portrait mode. I uh, file image options help. You have a page in the center. And over here you have your actions. Well, you have images. Images where you select like these buttons that I've programmed here. You get those from images. So these are not programmed yet. So I have these are all these are all the devices that I've added so far. Um, so the Apple Digital BDP. That's what I'm going to be using programming today for via our, you know for the IS232 connection. Um, the feedback. So I'm going to go over that in a little bit. 
So let's get started. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the device that I want to program. Click the plus. All of the uh, possible controls pop down. I'm looking for network codes because I'm going to be using the RS-232. So, I, so these, are all the, these, are, these are all of the controls for the Oppo BDP 105D or any Oppo actually. And the thing to keep in mind is iRules device database is extensive. It is extremely extensive. Any device you have, odds are iRule has control for it. If you don't find the device, it can learn it manually through the iTac, the global t global cache uh, iTac devices, which I'm going to go over in a second as well. So for play, because over here, I want to program the play button first. So what I do is I find play over here. It's listed in alphabetical order. Here we go. Play. I, I click play. What do I do? I just drag it over. I drag it over to the play button. Highlight. I let go. Boom. Now the button is programmed. It's as simple as that. I am not kidding you. See, now, now that the button is programmed, it's it's lighter. Uh, it's dimmer when the button is not programmed. So it lets you know in case you know you're programming and you're wondering, oh, did I miss anything? This this makes sure that there's no mistake. Like this is you know, if it's dim, it's because you haven't programmed it. Alright, so I'm gonna do the same thing now for the pause button right below it. I'm gonna go right back over here and I'm gonna find pause, which happens to be right here. Find pause, click on it. What did I do? Drag it right over to the pause button. And then let go. Oh, what do you know? Pause is now programmed. Alright. Same thing for stop. Let's find stop. Here we go. Stop. Click that, drag it over. Stop. Stop is now programmed in the iRule remote. Now now I'm not going to I'm not going to program the entire thing because that would take too long. But I do want to show you how you sync your device with iRule. So once you make changes, first thing you have to do, you have to go to File, and then you go to Save. Okay. Now once you click Save, you update the the tablet. Let me show you how to do that. All right. So here I have two tablets. I have my Samsung Galaxy Tab to the left and my iPad Mini to the right. So I'm going to show you how to sync. Uh, you just saw me do the save in the iRule Builder. Now you're going to see me do the sync um, on the tablet itself. So there are two different ways. So that's why I want to have an Android and an iOS tablet here. So for the iOS tablet, what you have to do is up here you're going to see pal panels in the app. So you have to click panels and then go down here. You see the sync icon there? click sync it's gonna take a while to, to find itself it finds my iPad and then I click it and then it does its update thing and it's just asking me if I have other devices I click no and then I'm set I'm updated on Android tablets is a little different it's actually a little easier so you click your, you click your menu button on your tablet for mine it's, it's over here so, I click that, and then I just click sync. And it takes me to the sync page. It finds itself. I have two of them on here, Kindle Fire, and I've named the Samsung Tablet Prime. So I click Prime, synchronizing, downloading panels. It does this thing. It doesn't take long at all. Alright, there we go. We're all synced. It takes you back to the home page. So that's that's how you complete a sync. Alright, so what happens when I don't want to use J River anymore? Um, you know, I'm an outlier. Not everybody uses J River. Not everybody has the patience to program it. But um what more people do have is an Xbox system, Xbox 360 or Xbox One. I have an Xbox One, um, it's IR controllable. So I want to get there. I click the home page on iRule. It takes you to the home page. I click the Xbox One item. You can't really make it out, but it's Xbox One. I click that. 
then automatically switches the input on my processor and it turns on the Xbox as well. So that's that's starting up right now. That's a pretty fast start too, I must say. Alright, so this takes me to the home screen for the Xbox One. And then I have it selected. Well, let me sign in first. And I have similar controls to how I have for J River, um, where, you know, I flick to the right, I scroll to the next page, you know, the same general navigation up, down, you know, that, that general, general directionality here. Um, same thing with the volume. You know, if I want to go into Hulu Plus, which I do all the time, you know, I open up Hulu Plus, let this, let this load. And I mean, these gesture controls are just outstanding. They really are. And so here we go. I scroll down just by moving my finger on the screen. I scroll right. And I mean, these are just, I mean, these, these have become so useful and I can't even explain how. But what I am going to explain is how you enable these gesture controls for any device. All right. Here we are back in the programming um, section of the iRule Builder. So to the left, these are all of the actions that I currently have. Now I'm just going to show you how you how you enable the gestures. So what I do is for here. Uh, actually, let me show you one that I've already done. I was just in the Xbox One. So click Xbox One. The gestures. This right here is key. So you click on gestures. That brings up the gesture page which shows all the gestures that you programmed so here I have yeah, single tap with one finger cursor enter double tap return single tap with two fingers that's play on the Xbox one when I'm using J River then that's that takes me to the home screen so you can program all of these and the way it works is really simple and I'm gonna show you by actually doing it for the new action that I that I created which is the watch movie for the oppo all right, so I go down to landscape page. Here we have the page right here. This is the page in programming. So for this, for this action, I like to enable gestures. What do I do? I click on gestures. Now most of these I've had because I've, I've been using the Xbox One as a controller, but I'm going to go ahead and delete the single tap so I can show you how, how I would program it. So the single tap is gonna be on the oppo the single tap is going to be select or enter. So I'm still under the Oppo from when I was programming earlier, but say I wasn't. I would select my device, which is the Oppo or Oppo, however you decide to, to pronounce it. So I want that to be enter or select. So I go down the list. Alright, so here we have cursor enter. I click on cursor enter and I do what I did when I was programming. I drag it to the appropriate gestures. So for here, a single tap with one finger will execute the cursor enter command. So I drag it over there, I let go, and here we have it. A single tap with one finger executes the cursor enter code on Oppo Digital BDP, whatever the model, RS-232. So I'm going to do that for all of these now. Here's one of the neatest features of iRule is the portrait versus landscape page feature for each activity and the ability to switch between them as the need arises. So for instance here, I'm back at J River, it's my main media source. Um, but say, you know, what if I don't want to look at anything? What if I just want to turn my display off and just listen to music? Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn the display off right now. Give me a second. Okay, the display is off. But now, how do I select my music if I just want to listen? Well, I simply change the orientation of the tablet to portrait. And here, there's an app called Web Gizmo. It's a J River app. But it's not an actual app you download, it's a simple URL that you paste into the portrait section of the page, which I'm going to show you. So now that the display is off, I want to listen to my music. 
you know, I click audio, I pick albums, and then here, I'm able to scroll through my albums in portrait mode, and I can select if I want to click Nickel Creek, then I get all the songs on that album, and here's the great thing, if I want to turn my display back on again, guess what, I just flip the tablet around again, and here I am back at the control, the, the, the main control, control your media page for J River. So you can do this for any, whatever you use. If you use XBMC, you can do it. If you just use Windows Media Center, you can do it. Um, yeah, the, you can, you really can. And it doesn't just stop at computer-based sources. Um, you can do, you know, if you use your, you see your, your Oppo as a media player, you know, you can, you can go into portrait mode and just have the transport buttons, you know, pause, stop, play there, you know, and then you can use that as opposed to, you know, an entire control suite. So that's extremely useful. Just keep that in mind and give it a shot. Okay, so how do I enable that portrait page um, and to, to, to do exactly what I just did with J River? Well, I do this. First, you have to select portrait pages. So in portrait pages, you select that. Then you have to create an actual portrait page. I, I call mine select your media. So I name that. Now under that page, what you want to do is you want to right click go to add and then go over to add URL when you click add URL then this will pop up it's a green page right here and under add URL you want to go down here now to the URL and you want to paste the URL that you want to do it, it's not limited to J River if you want to have your Facebook homepage in there you can do it you know so just you know if you're watching a movie you want to check Facebook turn into portrait mode it's gonna take you to Facebook you wanna go back into you know into controlling your media just flip it back into landscape mode so you put that in there it's gonna show up here as a just a green screen with dark text for the URL this is the URL for web gizmo which is the which is the J River companion app it's um it's it's web based so this is how I'm able to use this to control it alright so I mean yeah just Take a look into that. If you use any type of media software, take a look into any web companion apps that you can do that with because it really, it really goes a long way. Alrighty. Hello, guys. This is a hobby that I am extremely passionate about. And part of being passionate about something is that you always seek ways to pursue it to improve your experience with that passion. This iRule app is definitely a huge step for me coming from the logitech harmony remotes it is a huge step for me and it definitely has improved my enjoyment of this passion by giving me that level of control that i only dreamed of you know some people pay seven eight thousand dollars to a custom installer to program a crestron system if you have eight thousand dollars to pay a custom installer, that's fine but guess what i get the same experience for a hundred dollars okay it's a hundred dollar app so and that this for the pro version. I suggest to go for the pro version. Um, the fifty dollar version skips some features. Spend a hundred bucks, you will not be sorry. Odds are you have a tablet already. So as always, I'm going to leave you with something to listen to. Until next time. All right, the song I'm going to play for you is "Better" by Jessica Reedy. So in keeping with the video, let me get there using the iRule app. Oh, here we are up top. All right, enjoy.
I used to be So broken, lost, empty A heart with no beat A singer with no song to sing So I know the feeling The silence is deafening But in your pain lies a blessing Sweeter sigh of victory So keep walking, walking, walking Though it seems so far No matter who you are See the dark Thank you for watching.